Detective Sergeant Gavin Armstrong. D.S. Armstrong, sir. These photographs. Amy, taken unawares, going about her daily routine. They were taken by yourself, correct? I've never seen those before in my life. That's odd. It's a wonder, then, that they were retrieved from your personal computer. What were you arrested for today? Was it the same offence you were arrested for in July of this year? Stalking? Those charges didn't stick. You have a history of harassing women, and now it seems a pattern has emerged. Would you care to tell the court what all these women had in common? Something that Amy Barnes shared. You're not pinning this on me. I had nothing to do with it. Your Honor, my learned friend is leading the witness. Objection overruled. Thank you. Well, tell them, shall I? They all had blonde hair. I suggest that you were obsessed with her. When you found out she was leaving with her new husband, you killed her. That's not true. Who was the lead investigator in the Amy Barnes murder investigation? I was. So it was you who elicited the confession from my client, Mr. Hay. The confession he now vehemently denied. What about the evidence I saw you dump in the river the night after Amy was murdered? Were you covering your tracks because you killed her? So you don't think he did it anymore? Oh. Were you aware of my client's brain damage when you took this confession? Yeah, I had to help him remember. Oh, so you helped him remember details of a crime that someone else committed, possibly yourself. What? He's the one on trial here. He's the one that can't remember anything. So how did you get a confession if he couldn't remember anything? It seems this whole trial has been jeopardized by you putting false memories into Mr. Hayes' head. No, he told me he did it. I, it wasn't me. You can't just turn this around. It was him. 